Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. If this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, I want to welcome you. This is episode 181. I declared I was going to get to 200 this month. I think it's still possible. What y'all think? <laughs> well, maybe by the top of uh, 89. I don't know, we might get to we might get to 200 before the end of August. Um, today I'm talking about comparison. Comparison. And that beast that likes to live in our head and that pulls you away from all of your greatness. So let's get into it. If this is your first time watching Actors Daily, Daily Bread, I want to welcome you. This is you're in the right place if you're an actor, especially if you're an actor who wants to work in film and TV, because that is my specialty. Shout out to all my clients here in the thread. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. No, no, no phone calls, Debbie. Debbie, I'm on <laughs> decline. It's so weird. Why do people want to call me when I'm live? Um, if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, welcome. Go ahead and throw a one in the comments if this is your first time. If you're an OG member, if you've watched more than three episodes, you're an OG member. We're we, we super cool. So go ahead and put an OG in the comments. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So let's get into it. All right, Facebook is a little quiet, but Instagram is off the chain. So let's talk about it. Have you ever saw yourself, experienced yourself comparing your career to that of someone else? <laughs> What's up to all the OG members? I see you, Risha. Hey, Don. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Richard. Now, if you're being honest, this answer is probably yes for all of us at some point in our career. So this may be you right now. It might have been you 15 minutes ago. <laughs> it might have been you 15 minutes ago, but wherever it has met you, there's a chance the comparison bug may try to come back. Risha said, oh, yes, ma'am. And so let's talk a little bit about how that shows up, right? So it can look like I find the top three ways. Well, the main way. You go down the Google rabbit hole. <laughs> What's up, Brandon? You go down the Google rabbit hole or you go down the IMDB rabbit hole, right? And it's the, or the Instagram rabbit hole or the Facebook rabbit hole. And it's just comparing, comparing, comparing. And what I find so interesting about when we compare is we have no idea, A, what the journey has been for that person right? We just usually see, I feel like the root of comparison really honestly starts at a root of admiration. That's what I feel. Because comparison, I feel like is different than just being envious and jealous, right? I feel like we're even looking at certain people because they're on a path that we admire, that we'd like to experience. They're doing something that excites us, we can see ourselves literally where they are. Maybe for you, the comparison shows up because you look, you think you look similar to that person, where maybe you have a similar essence or vibe, or maybe everything that you've seen to go out for, maybe every co-star or guest star series regular, when you actually saw who booked it, if you didn't book it, it was like the same person or the same several people. Right. Um, and so maybe it comes from that. But I wanted to just sit in and honor. This is the way I look at it. You may look at it differently, but I want to honor the fact that I'm starting this comparison because I admire something that you do or you are you are you are goals. You know, people say your goals. Right. Or your career goals like that's that's the number one thing. And so I think it's natural for us to look at people, look at people's paths that have been laid before us and wonder, hmm, I wonder what it took for them to get to that path. Or let me just see, let me retrace, see if I can find their footsteps in the snow, right? And kind of like backtrack and retrace my steps so that I end up exactly where they are. And this is, I feel like it's, there's a positive, but more of a negative to this. And let me explain. And hey, guys, I see you coming on. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Joni. Hey, long time, Joni. Uh, what's up, Stephanie? What's up, uh, Peyton, Tracy? So let's talk about how this hinders you. 
and how it doesn't serve you. That's kind of been on my, my tongue for the past few days as I've been talking to clients. How does it serve you, right? So when you have an audition and the first thing you think about is, well, I wonder who else got an audition. I wonder who else. Parents, this is especially true for you, especially if some of y'all in the Southeast and some of the Southeast agents like to send like the whole list of everybody who's auditioning. I don't know if they still do that, but they used to. So then you end up seeing all the people going out for the same part as you. And so it's natural to be like, well, I wonder why they picked them. Huh? And then you start Google, you go down the IMDb rabbit hole, or the Google rabbit hole. And be like, oh, I guess we kind of the same. That'd be totally different. I don't even get why they would want to vote. They don't know what they want. And then that just leads to this unhealthy spiral of, A, you trying to be casting director instead of just focusing on what you need to focus on, which is your audition, which is what you're about to do, which leads me to my major tip for you. And I did a video about this years ago before I was even coaching actors and I was a life coach for women. I want you to practice the art of staying in your lane. You know, when you see horses, you know, in Atlanta, they always have horses down the street. Here in Chatsworth, California, there's all these horses and they put the blinders on the horses, right? Because honey, if it was up to the horse, the horse would be like, what y'all doing over there? What y'all doing over there? And you'd be like, uh, we are not getting to the destination. So they put the blinders on the horses so that they stay focused and they got to worry about horse number two over here or Roscoe the horse over here. We staying here in this lane. You know, I had a friend who reached out to me the other day, shout out to Maggie, I don't think you're on yet. And she said, Christine, you seem so busy, but you don't seem like bothered by everybody else. Like you're just doing your work. And I said, yeah, cause I gotta, I'm a whole situation here. This is a whole entrepreneurial uh, empire building situation. I don't, I barely have the time to get everything on my to-do list done. How I got time to be worried about what you're doing? Honey, these 24 hours are precious. And so for some of y'all who got day jobs, night jobs, children, husbands, dogs, cats, turtles like me, like our day is busy. So where are we finding this extra time to be spending quality time researching you, researching your perceived competition. So again, it's one thing to be like, man, Tracy, oh, I love her career. Like she's done all these shows, like she's beautiful. Gosh, I wanna do more of that. Yeah, and then let that sit there, which leads me to my next tip for you. That person or people, because I know for each and every one of y'all be the same folks. It's the same people you looking at, okay? You helping their algorithm, honey. They're like, my algorithm's through the roof. It's because uh, Brandon keeps stalking my page. <laughs> Teasing you, Brandon. Right? So it's the same people. So I need you to, A, this is the next tip. I need you to bless those people. I need you to throw huge blessings on them and be like, gosh, Stephanie's career, it looks amazing. I don't know everything she's been through. I don't know her trials, triumphs, turbulations, but I just love the path that she's on. So I'm going to send blessings to her because that is what I'm working on. And Lord, when I get there, I pray someone is playing, is praying blessings over me, sending me good energy. Congratulations. Y'all remember that time Taraji was clapping for Viola Davis? She stood up and was just like, it's a gift now. So she was just like, like, because it's that energy. And when you're winning, don't you want someone cheering you on? And it's like, look, we, all have our path we all have our lane and each and every one of you at the sound of my voice have what you laughing at shana <laughs> each and every one of you of us have a path that is already laid a path that is already written those gigs you don't book you have no idea what's happening in the background no idea and i know it's frustrating but i'm telling you you're the same people, and this you is, uni is, is universal for all of us. You're the same person or actor who will come up to me and tell me that you don't have time to do X. Well, Christine, I don't have time to market. I mean, it's so much energy. Christine, I don't have time to take class. Christine, I don't have time to do a self-tape every week. Christine, I don't have... Excuses, excuses. Like, let me... Can I find more excuses? But honey, why you got 20 minutes to do the Insta scroll? and the linger stalking or using the incog incognito tab on Google to, to be researching your perceived competition. I'll wait. 
we have more time than we think we have. And each and every one of us brings something so special and so unique to this industry. No one on this thread, no one here on Facebook, Instagram, those of you who watch this replay later, you can never be duplicated, ever. So when you stand in the fact that you are one of a kind, wonderful, one of, one of a kind, unique, one of a kind, special, your gift is divine, it is a gift, you're on this planet to share that gift by any means necessary, that you were made in the most amazing likeness, who got time to be comparing to somebody else? You were created with such beautiful detail and effort. So how about we focus more on sharing our gifts? And how do we do that? First, just to recap, we send blessings to those. And my blessings, this can mean whatever it is that you believe in, however you want to do that. It's just the opposite of, hmm. I'd rather be like, gosh, I admire her. That's dope. I love her work. Right? It's like that. It starts there. Then it starts by being so laser focused. So my friend Maggie was like, Christine, you seem so focused on yourself. I'm like, I am. If I'm not focused on me, I'm focused on my clients, period. What am I doing? What are my clients doing? How can I push my clients to greatness? Great. And because that's a circle, that's just a circle. It goes back around. Every time I'm teaching, every time I'm teaching you guys on live, I'm teaching myself. And you guys can be a blessing too. Like just take something you've learned and tell somebody else. So not only is it blessing somebody else, but and then you get to hear it again. And sometimes you hear it that next time, you be like, oh, that was a word. I said that. I said, I said that. That was good. Because <laughs> sometimes I need my own word. But you can do so much more if we get off this comparison train, especially when you have auditions pop up. Let me have a sip of water. Let me hashtag. I need a hashtag Perrier. Get this Perrier sponsor. This is what it could be for you, Perrier. Let's talk about it. You never know. Closed mouths don't get fed. That's what they say. Whew. Can I say, let me do an insert. I know I got all deep. Just, I like to make y'all smile. No, I'm not going to wink again. Y'all give me such flack for winking. If you... We're watching that video. Listen, this is day 19. We've been going 19 days straight of lives. Um, so I went to Sephora today. This is so not related to comparison. Just stick, stick with me. I went to Sephora today because I have been needing to stock up on, I needed to rejudge my whole makeup situation. Like I had, as my mother would say, drips and drabs of just beauty supply this and this, you know, like I'm used to the good stuff when I go on set. It's like, I got to go to Sephora and just do it. So I was about to come on live for y'all because I had a spent, I spent me a nice little chunk chunk of change there but i got everything i needed but you know if you've never been to sephora and had like your makeup test done they put a little of this here you're testing out these shades honey i walked in the house and i was like oh i'm gonna go live i was trying to go live for at least 15 minutes because i got here i sat it up turned the light on the ring light and honey that thing was like <laughs> i had eight patches of color it looked like i had the zorro mask like right here so I was like, let me get this rag and wipe it off. So I just thought that was a funny moment that you would have never known about had I told you. But um, just note to self, always check your makeup in real light before you do anything. <laughs> let me check these comments. What are we talking? Let's talk about uh, comparison. What y'all talking about? I'm all coming over here to Instagram. I'm going to come back to you, Facebook. I see some oldie but goody names on here. Tracy says, you write. Um, yes. Um, Murdoch something says, I needed this. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, your gift will make room for you. Yes, Dawn. Brandon says, sometimes we don't know what God can be shielding us from. Gosh, that is so, 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 so truth. Um, yes, Shauna Nikki Wood said, absolutely so where you want to go. Absolutely. Yes. Y'all are with me. Y'all are picking up what I'm putting down. All right. So I just wanted you to have that seed in your head because I've talked to some, I have some new clients that signed up for my inner circle. If you've been watching me and wondering how to work with me on a more intimate level, I have something called the inner circle that is around and I'm, 
pretty selective about who comes in it, but if that's something you can always DM me and I can send you more information. But before that, I'm gearing up to come to Atlanta next week, next Saturday. I'll be there. Well, I'll be there before that, but I'm teaching next Saturday. So if you want to come join me, the link is above or below or in my Instagram profile. When your next audition comes in, and you know, this isn't beyond auditions. Let me say this before we go. I wasn't thinking about this, but this just hit me. Last, what was it? Last night, we hosted our Booking Magnet Academy. If you don't know, that's my ongoing monthly membership for actors. And we were talking about being feeling a little depleted. And it came up for a few of my students. And I was expressing the need to take a break sometimes. And sometimes, if you're really finding yourself so stuck in this comparison train, I've had friends, and I've done it myself, where you do like a fast from where the main source of the problem is. So for many of us, it is Facebook or Instagram. It might mean that person you are lingering on, you might need to unfollow them. Maybe not unfriend them if they're a friend, but maybe unfollow. Maybe you're just literally in a mental space where you can't even trust yourself to not linger, not, you know, stalk their page. And you don't even mean it in a bad way. It just, you literally have to protect your heart and protect your mind. And so it might mean you need to fast from that in that way. So that's just another little bonus tip you can take if the person you are compare person or people you're comparing yourself to is always in your face. Because it might not be one person. It might be a whole group of people. It might be every other actor friend you have. <laughs> Why are they all working and I'm not? What's wrong with me? And you get on the whole, I say, take a break, boo, and come back when you feel stronger. Do some introspective work. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Actors Daily Bread. If you missed any part, it'll replay. If you want to binge, come on over to YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and we catch up on 180 videos. I mean, just if you're feeling down, just go over there and take care of yourself. Have a great night. I'm going to say goodbye on Facebook first. Thank you for hanging out with me. Bye, Jasmine.